We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. History has taught us that if we put our minds and will to a task, the human spirit will prevail. We will use all of what we know today and we will discover what we need for tomorrow. We must act now, act decisively. Today's patients and future generations are counting on us. Our skill, our determination will accelerate the pace of prevention, detection, and cures for cancer. I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer 3C and given a prognosis of less than five years. Thanks to MD Anderson, I'm alive now 11 years and it's been wonderful. My prognosis was that if I didn't have it operated on within the next month, that I'd be dead in three months. Been 13 years since I came to MD Anderson. Uh, I'm alive because of MD Anderson, I feel. I'm very sure of it. And I feel really, really well. When I was diagnosed with cancer, I felt like a fish in the ocean, um, floundering around, no direction, didn't know what was going to happen. So I came here to MD Anderson looking for a cure, of course, and they were kind of like my lifeboat, and I finally found the help that I needed. From its oh. earliest days, the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston has pushed the boundaries, leading the way to new discoveries and pioneering new therapies in the fight against cancer. Many patients who elsewhere were given little hope have come to MD Anderson and lived long, cancer-free lives. And now, inspired by America's drive a generation ago to put a man on the moon, the nation's top cancer center is embarking on a highly concentrated effort to rapidly and dramatically decrease suffering and death in several major cancers. When Dr. Ronald Apino became MD Anderson's fourth president in 2011, he brought with him a bold new vision, a goal-oriented, milestone-driven plan to escalate progress against these cancers. The Moonshots program is not about the next experiment. It's not about chipping away at death rates year by year. It's about focusing our energies across every aspect of the cancer journey from prevention to early diagnosis to treatment and survivorship. MD Anderson has an enormous infrastructure of discovery and application with a singular focus on cancer. A robust cancer prevention and cancer control program, the largest patient volumes, unique drug discovery capabilities. All of these are coming together to achieve this goal. The disease is staggering, an alarming lifetime cancer risk for the nation. One in two men and one in three women will get cancer. It affects all of us. The Moonshots program focuses teams that will build on new technology and scientific knowledge that has rapidly expanded in recent years, most notably the mapping and sequencing of the human genome. What we learned with these first Moonshot programs will advance our knowledge for all other cancers. We will continue to direct resources and funding to all types of cancers, both common and rare, with the ultimate goal of becoming Moonshots in the future. Each of the Moonshots has an ambitious plan for short-range impact, as well as a framework for long-term cures. Each will result in increased survivor rates and better patient outcomes for a specific cancer. The selected cancers are AML and its precursor MDS, CLL, lung cancer, melanoma, prostate cancer, and breast and ovarian, two women's cancers linked by a shared genetic pathway. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, is the most common leukemia that we have in the Western world. The reason that uh, CLL is a great candidate for these new initiatives is that it's very easy for us to access the malignant cells because they're in the bloodstream. So that it enables us to analyze the genetics of the disease in great detail. We have an amazing group of new drugs, and we have new immune uh, treatments using the patient's own cells to hopefully do what a stem cell transplant can do right now. 
What we want to accomplish with the MDS AML Moonshot is to cure most patients with leukemia that come to see us and to translate this knowledge worldwide. We believe that we can do that by performing total analysis of our patients from the clinical perspective to their genomic data and putting that data together in the sequence will allow us to do that. Lung cancer is by far the leading cause of cancer mortality. Uh, it kills about 160,000 Americans uh, every year. We're going to try to profile all the mutations that can drive lung cancer. So if a patient comes to MD Anderson, we're making a commitment we want to be able to profile all of them. We're going to be able to find out what it is and have a drug to target it. Melanoma, the most aggressive form of skin cancer, is a significant public health problem in the U.S. There's been a rapid understanding in the molecular underpinnings of melanoma. What we'd like to do is to increase survival from less than two years for most patients with advanced melanoma to over three to five years. In three years, we believe that we will have evidence that we have a new classification of prostate cancer that will guide and revolutionize how we approach the disease. We will have evidence to suggest we can reduce the mortality of patients with currently incurable prostate cancer while it still remains localized, and that we will have combinations of therapy that are likely to significantly prolong the survival of patients currently uh, not benefiting from the existing therapy. We have built a combined effort in the two most aggressive and most lethal forms of cancer that affect women. Both of these are caused or associated with what we call breast cancer genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2. What we do will not just stop at women's cancers, but will apply to all types of cancers for all cancer patients. And now, just as a past generation met the challenge of spaceflight and changed the future, MD Anderson is prepared to accelerate the creation of a cancer-free world. Nowhere is there a more focused and comprehensive effort to defeat this disease. We must rid the world of a disease that is taking away our mothers and fathers, our sons and daughters, and others we love. We cannot do this alone. We need knowledge and expertise of others around the globe. We need your help to do what no one has done before, to make cancer history for people everywhere. This is the time.